Hey everybody, I'm Trish Wachowski from FoldFactor.com and welcome to That's Foldtastic for Design TV. In this episode, we're going to be talking about high impact folding trick number six, short folds. Now if you watched high impact folding trick number four, that was about broadside folds and short folds are relatives of broadside folds. Um, just for a little bit of, a, of review, uh, broadside folds are, are when the sheet folds in half on itself first before it finishes its final folded format. Now a short fold is also a broadside fold. However, the difference is that instead of folding exactly in half, um, short folds fold short of in half. So here's a perfect example. This is a really standard short fold. This is a trifold or letter fold uh, with a short fold to the inside. And um, what it does is it folds a little bit short. See right here? Um, it also creates a nice focal point depending upon where your short fold is. And I'll show you some variations on that in a moment. But um, you can create kind of these areas for headlines, subheads, you know, uh, ways to catch attention. Um, and then that short fold can be lifted up uh, to reveal content. So you still get a lot of extra real estate, not as much real estate um, as a broadside fold that would be to the full length um, if we were to do that instead of the short, short trim here of a short fold. Um, but still lots of extra area and some nice kind of visual interest. Now short folds can be to the inside or to the outside, depending upon what you're trying to do. From a production standpoint, they're basically the same. Um, however, if you're mailing, you may want to keep your short fold to the inside. There could be some issues with that. So um, just know kind of your end point on that before you uh, make your decision. So there's a really standard one. Now let's uh, take a little step further. This piece was for the Ann Arbor Hands-On Museum, a children's museum um, in Ann Arbor. Michigan and um, this is also a trifold or letter fold with a short fold but they did um, also a short cover which is a nice little element here so exact same folding style they just uh, left the cover short and that created kind of a nice stepped edge right here and so it opens they did a much uh, more shallow short fold it's a little bit hard to see but it's about maybe a half inch the one that I showed you here was probably a solid inch and a half or so, and this one's just a half inch. So you can really play with the depth of that short fold as well, depending on what effect you're trying to get. This was a really low budget two color piece, but they were able to do quite a bit with it just in using a creative folded format um, and a short fold and a short trim cover. Okay, all right, let's take it a step further now. Um, short folds, as I said, could be the inside or the outside, but they can also be from the top or the bottom, okay? So, I'm gonna go back to this one for a minute. So, a, a standard short fold pulls up, but you can also do what's called an inverted short fold and pull down instead. Uh, what that does is creates kind of a headline area and just a different directional fold here. So you can pull down instead of pulling up. Again, that's called an inverted short fold. Now, some creative things that you can do with the inverted short fold. Here's an example. Um, this piece was for Mackenzie Childs. They do hand painted furniture and accessories. And this is a closed gate fold with an inverted short fold. And I love what they did with this. So, this was a self mailing piece. There's the mailing panel. Um, it opens like this, so it really looks like it's going to be a standard closed gate. It's a closed gate because of this final fold right here that closes it up. And then it opens like this. Now this was a, kind of a catalog piece showcasing um, some of their nice accessories and things. So instead of having all of that content with the pricing and everything in there, they did a, a kind of a shallow inverted short fold at the bottom. And so at first you really got a nice eyeful of the visuals. And then when you wanted to check out the prices, you just folded this little inverted short fold down. So really nice. Again, like a broadside fold, um, you're adding a what's called a right angle fold to the piece, which is increasing its level of difficulty. So talk with your printer. They're, they're common uh, right angle folds. However, they do require extra equipment, um, different paper considerations and things. So, you know, just make sure you talk to your printer before you uh, start doing something like this. But otherwise, pretty standard. So anyway, so this is just a nice little solution. Um, but the next thing I'm going to show you is my absolute favorite technique for short folds. It's called a glueless pocket. This is neat. This piece is for uh, Transfer USA. Now, I, I showed you an inverted short fold, a real shallow one for Mackenzie Child. Now, if you played with the depth of that inverted short fold, you could actually create a glueless pocket. 
So this piece is really just a letter fold or tri-fold, but what they did was they created a short fold here that created a, a glueless pocket. They put a letter in here. You could put, you know, light materials in this area here. And they created this short fold here, that inverted short fold that created a glueless pocket. And then when it opened out, it also became a beautiful poster as well. So they've got a lot of content here and it folds down into a poster. Now, one of the things I love about the glueless pocket technique Actually, a couple of things I love about it. Um, one, no glue, okay? So from a finishing perspective, uh, machinable, but also no extra finishing processes like glue, which is great, especially for those of you who want kind of green solutions. Um, that's kind of a nice idea. Um, the other thing about it is a glueless packet that has nothing in it doesn't really look like it's missing anything. It just looks like an interesting fold that folds down. But a pocket folder that's empty looks like an empty pocket folder, right? So I love the versatility of this type of uh, folded solution. Now, a couple things. Um, you can't create a glueless pocket on every single kind of folding style. You have to have tension on either side of the pocket. So the reason this works is because you've got a fold here and a fold here. Now, you know, if you tried to do it on this exterior edge here, you have an open edge and that doesn't work. So it's got to be on an interior panel or it's got to be, if it's on an exterior panel, it has to have tension in order to create that pocket because the tension is being created by the fold. Now, let's take this way, way up here. I my One of my absolute favorite folded samples in my entire collection of thousands of samples is this piece. Um, this is from Whitmore Group for Architectural Mesh. And this is a roll fold with an inverted short fold glueless pocket to the exterior and a nested accordion. Stick with me here, this is great. So this is the cover and this is the back the back cover and the back pocket. The way they did this is they created a short fold, but they did it to the exterior. So I was telling you how short folds can be on the outside or the inside. Well, they chose to do their short fold to the outside, so very unusual from the start. Um, this is a roll fold, so you'll see in a minute, probably pretty familiar with it, the panels fold in on each other, right? But so they created this short fold to the exterior, and so the back cover uh, creates a glueless pocket right here and they have a nice folded piece tucked in here. This is an accordion fold and a really nicely designed piece to begin with and that sits off to the side here. Now again, right, the piece without that uh, nested um, accordion fold doesn't look empty. It just looks like a cool folded piece so you could put it in or not. Um, so this opens up. There's the interior, nice visuals, great format. And then this is the outside, opens down for a lot of extra real estate too. So we have the tension here, uh, also could have been here. Um, and so we're able to create that fabulous glueless pocket on the back. Uh, both pieces entirely machinable. You do have to insert by hand here, but this is machinable and this is machinable. So no glue, machinable, great solution. So there you go. Lots of exciting high impact folding tricks here. Uh, this was number six, short folds. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. That's Foldtastic. Please visit foldfactory.com for more ideas and inspiration and also to sign up for my 60 second super cool fold of the week. I'll see you next time. Bye.